All right, y'all, we at the range, man. Mac 5, HK Flex. First This is not You're gonna like shooting this. Yeah, it's there's easy. No there's no recoil at all. Alright, y'all. So what the target looking like right there as you can see that's two mags you can see how accurate this thing is from seven yards all right so we got uh some 124 grain in here fmj i'm gonna test this out Uh, jacket and hollow points and FMJ. So this is just a whole mixed up mag, abomination. So let's see how, how she's running. excited with new guns but this one is putting a smile from cheek to cheek oh that's awesome baby. so that's four mags we did so that's 120 rounds so far we got It never stopped. All right, you two, we back from the range, man. So, wanted to try to get this video out to y'all as fast as I can, man. Been kind of um, excited to shoot this thing since I got it. Um, I wish I would have got to the range a little earlier, but it is what it is. Um, so yeah, man, nonetheless, um, I'm really happy with this purchase, man. Let's just start the video off by saying that I'm not going to make y'all wait to the end of this video, um, to tell y'all if I like it or not. I love it. Um, I got to the range kind of late, um, so I didn't really get to shoot as many rounds, um, as I wanted to through it. Honestly, if I could, I would have probably dumped out everything I brought with me, but I didn't get a chance to do that, but I'm satisfied with what I did. Um, I was able to shoot about 200 rounds through it uh, of various different types of ammo. Um, it even got to the point that I had I had my micro with me, my micro dagger with me, and that thing was failing me left and right, man. I don't know what's wrong with that, but uh, I'm not going to make the video about that. I'll do another video about that, but needless to say, I took all the ammo that I had out of there because it kept jamming up on me. And I threw it in here and I ate that thing for breakfast, man. So right there alone, that was about 40 rounds in between um, FMJ and jacketed hollow points. So it ate right through that with no issues. Like I said, we did about 200 rounds, um, 115 
that was mixed up between 115 grain, 124 grain, jacket of hollow points, and FMJs. So pretty much I ate everything I ran through. It was about four different types of ammo. <clears throat> Excuse me, y'all. But yeah, man, it ate through it with no issues, man. And it's a smooth shooter. I mean, obviously it's a PCC, so we're not shooting any 5.56 or anything like that. YouTube, nothing in the mag, man. Let's get that out the way real quick. Nothing in the mag well. There is no mag in there. As you can see, we empty. Chambers empty. No mag inserted. So for the safety of this video, man, let's just leave this locked back like that. So my moderator could see that we ain't doing nothing illegal here. And like I said, there's nothing in the mag well. Nothing in the chamber. Nothing in the mag well. So we're just going to put her back down. But yeah, man, like I said, this thing is a go. Um, I like it. So far, so good. I know 200 rounds is not a lot for some of y'all. But like I said, if I could, I would have shot a lot more through it. But um, it is what it is. I plan on going back to the range real soon just because I was super excited to shoot this thing, man. This thing is a fun clinker, a great shooter, very, very accurate, even with these weird sights. Um, I like the front post. The back post, I'm still kind of getting used to it just because, as you can see, I adjusted it because you got about four different um, adjustments you could do here. So I chose the biggest, basically, sight. The sight picture I could get, which is that one right there. And then obviously you got the big front post. This, this does help a lot. This really helps out with aiming. Um, shots right on target, man. I mean, if you're watching this already, then you've seen the range footage. The target targets were hit up pretty much where I point where you plant the gun at and you pull that trigger, it's it's gonna go. That's exactly where your bullets are gonna go at. So needless to say, if you're watching this and you already seen the range footage, it was super accurate. Um, I don't even think I will put a sight on here as far as like a dot. I mean, if I do, that'll probably be later on down the line. But for right now, I'm super satisfied with the uh, with the factory rear and front sights. I definitely don't mind it. Um, the HK slap uh, was very um, satisfying. As y'all know, if y'all know, y'all know what I'm talking about. The famous HK slap. Um, I love it, man. Like I said, it's a great, uh, it's a great shooter. Um, the trigger... As you can see here, I'm gonna show y'all real quick. HK slap y'all real quick, since we already doing the video. Um, the trigger is weird, like when you're dry firing. It's hard to explain, but when you're at the range and you're actually shooting it, this trigger is not bad at all. <clears throat> Excuse me, y'all. <clears throat> yeah, so like I said, the trigger is not, it's not bad when you're actually shooting it, but dry firing is really weird because it almost has like no take up at all. Like, if you go ahead and just pull the trigger, there's, like, no wall. You just, you go from there to just pulling the trigger and then releasing. So, we're going to do it again. That's basically a take-up right there, believe it or not. Like, literally, there's no take-up at all. But then you got, like, a rolling brake, as you can see. That's kind of how the trigger is designed. Still kind of stiff on the charger handle, so excuse me for that. But, yeah, one more time. That's your take-up right there, man. And there you have it. And then for the reset, kind of like a rolling reset back to that wall and then boom. But like I said, it's like, as you can see what I'm saying, it's it's kind of hard to do it on video, but when you're actually shooting it with live ammo, it's 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 like night and day. Like the trigger is super soft. Um, You don't even feel that sponginess. I mean, you can get a, a lot of shots off really quickly and obviously it's nine millimeters, so you're not gonna have any recoil. So you'll be able to get a lot of shots down range on target, whatever you want to call it, easily with ease. Like I literally was doing it with ease. And this gun will make you feel like a professional shooter. Because like I said, wherever you aim at, it's going to go right there. Wherever you plant that bullet at, it's going to hit the target. So as long as you're doing everything that you're supposed to do, this gun will do its job. Um, like I said, it's still early on with the, you know, as far as like with the round count and everything like that. So you know, give or take, um, everything I've been hearing about it and my personal experience has been matching up. So when I go back to the range next time, I'll probably do maybe like another two or 300 rounds. That'll put me at the 500 round mark. And then I'll shoot some different ammo as well. Um, and let you guys know, like maybe with a little updated video, um, real quick, I did do my form four. I'm in the process now of getting a suppressor for this thing. Because from what I'm hearing, you have to really shoot the uh, MP5 with the suppressor to really get that real, real deal experience. So I got excited for that. I actually always wanted a suppressor, but I really didn't have any firearms to like use it or go and 
want to fill out the forms and get, you know, it was no, nothing really that I have in my inventory right now that I would want to suppress. Um, I really don't care much to suppress a handgun or anything like that. But um, with this, I, I heard a lot of good things about suppressing the MP5, that they run great. And, you know, just having like that silencer on there just kind of makes the experience even better. So I definitely went ahead and did that, man. So that's going to be a little bit of a process. Um, I don't know how long it's going to take because I've never done it before, but I'm in the stages right now of it. So I'll keep you guys updated with that one. But um, as far as the gun itself, like I said, man, it's a go. Um, as y'all see, I got the uh, PDW SB tactical brace on here. So there you have it. It's got two, three different positions. You could just leave it there or you could put it there. That's actually the first, second, and then the third. And then if you want, you could. Just... So that also helps out a lot. Shoulder in this thing also makes it that much more accurate. Um, yeah, man, like I said, it's a great gun. The ergonomics is great on it. Um, I don't plan on changing this grip out. The grip feels fine. Like everything just feels great out of the box. Like the build, the quality, everything from unboxing it to shooting it. You really cannot go wrong with this gun, man. I mean, yeah, it's still a little pricey for most people, but opposed to paying, you know, up near $3,500 for a, for a real HK SP5, you can count me out on that one because I don't think I will ever spend that much on a gun. But um, not knocking HK. I mean, I know they're a great company, and without them, we wouldn't have been able to get this clone right here and all the other clones that are out there. So, yeah, man. Um, Definitely going to get this thing suppressed. That's the next thing I'm going to do. Probably the, the, the last and final thing I'm going to do. I don't think you really need to do much to this gun out of the box. Um, It's ready to go. So take my word for it. Like I said, it's definitely a good shooter. As y'all see, I went and got the uh, MP5 mat. Um, I always kind of wanted a bigger mat for like my longer guns and stuff like that. So this will definitely do the job. But kind of just helps out with the background and everything like that. <clears throat> but yeah, man, Mac 5 is definitely a go. I like it. Um, like I said, we're still early on in the stages, obviously, so only time will tell. But like I said, so far, so good, man. Um, trying to think if there's anything else I left out. Well, the magazines. The magazines ran great. No issues at all. They fed well. Um, it did only come with two mags, which I mean, I don't think that's too bad. I mean, I've seen worse. I've seen some guns only coming with one mag. They cost even more double the price than what this is so i don't think it's a, like a deal breaker or anything like that but i did go ahead and order the uh mke magazines i believe that's the one that the century arms version uses a lot of people said those work really well so i ordered two of those um the hk mags are ridiculously expensive so i'm gonna hold off on that i'll probably end up getting one later on down the line um maybe if i can find a better deal for it some type of discount at some point but at least for now, I have two mags on the way, so that'll put me at four magazines for this one. But the ones that came with it were great. They fit snug. They release with the push of a button. They come right out. I mean, they they are pretty tight fit, so obviously they're probably going to have to get just broken in just from being so brand new. But out of the box, those metal mags were great. Um, I had no issues with them, loading them. Um, like I said, inserting them in the mag well and taking them out, no issues at all, just super snug, so... Can't really complain about that. Um, like I said, a lot of the controls are still stiff, like the charging handle, but obviously that's all from being brand new. A lot of this stuff is gonna be stiff. I'm sure over time it'll break in, but this is definitely something I'm gonna be taking to the range more often just because, like I said, you're not breaking the bank opposed to shooting bigger calibers. You know, you could shoot this thing all day and you know, you'll still be able to have some ammo left over. And like I said, you won't really be breaking the bank. I mean, it's not 22 cheap, but I mean, 9mm is definitely a lot cheaper than a lot of other calibers that are out there today that most people shoot. So this is definitely going to be my little range plinker. Definitely going to be having some fun with this thing, man. So definitely stay tuned for more range footage on this thing. Um, but for now, that's all I got for y'all, man. If there's anything else y'all want to know, y'all already know, man. Just hit me up in the comments. Um, otherwise, I'm going to catch you on the next one.